Imagine a universe teeming with life, civilizations reaching out across the cosmos, yet we hear nothing. Why so? Welcome to The Great Filter. Today we delve into a fascinating hypothesis that has been stirring minds in the scientific community. It's known as The Great Filter, a theoretical wall that challenges life to climb, to evolve from the simplest of life forms into advanced spacefaring societies. This theory suggests there's a formidable barrier somewhere along the path of cosmic evolution, a hurdle so difficult to surpass that it might just explain why we appear to be alone in this vast universe. Is it possible that many have tried, but none have succeeded in overcoming this great filter? This theory, as fascinating as it sounds, might hold the answer to why we haven't found extraterrestrial life yet. Ever heard of the Fermi Paradox? It questions our solitude in this vast universe. The Fermi Paradox presents a fascinating conundrum. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, it questions why we haven't encountered any other intelligent civilizations despite the immensity of the cosmos. Picture this, there are billions of stars in our galaxy alone, many of them billions of years older than our sun. Around these stars there could exist planets teeming with life. But where are they? Why haven't we received any intergalactic phone calls yet? This is where the concept of the Great Filter comes into play. It's a hypothetical stumbling block that civilizations must clear to progress from simple life forms to advanced, spacefaring societies. It's a theoretical barrier that, once crossed, could open the doors to interstellar communication and travel. Could the Great Filter be the answer to Fermi's question? Let's delve deeper. From the emergence of life to interstellar travel, the path of cosmic evolution is a fascinating one. As we voyage through the cosmos, we start at the beginning, with abiogenesis, the birth of life from non-living matter. This momentous leap from inanimate to animate, from chemistry to biology, might be the rarest event in the universe. Could this be where the great filter lies? Or is it merely a stepping stone on the path to higher complexity? Our journey continues with simple life, the realm of the single-celled organisms. These microscopic pioneers are the first to harness the power of evolution, diversifying into a multitude of forms and mastering the art of survival. But the transition from simple to complex life, from single cells to multicellular organisms, is not an easy one. The leap to complexity requires not just time, but a perfect storm of conditions. Could this be the great filter, a hurdle too high for most life forms to clear? Next we arrive at the stage of intelligence, the development of advanced cognitive abilities. The rise of intelligence is a powerful step in cosmic evolution, opening up new possibilities and challenges. Yet, intelligence is not inevitable, it's a rare and precious trait that may have evolved only a handful of times in Earth's history. Could the emergence of intelligence be the great filter, a step too far for most life forms? We then reach the era of technological civilization, the mastery of technology, and the dawn of space exploration. This stage brings with it immense power, but also the potential for self-destruction. From nuclear warfare to ecological disaster, the threats are numerous and daunting. Could the Great Filter be here, in the dangerous waters of advanced technology? Finally we gaze towards the stars, and the challenge of interstellar travel. The vast distances between stars present formidable obstacles. Could the leap to the stars be the final hurdle? The Great Filter that stops civilizations in their tracks? Somewhere in this journey the Great Filter waits, a hurdle that might have halted many civilizations. The Great Filter could be any significant hurdle in our cosmic journey. Let's explore the possibilities. First off, we have abiogenesis, the emergence of life from non-living matter. It might seem straightforward on our planet but perhaps this step is rarer than we think, acting as a formidable filter in itself. Next, our planetary conditions. For life to thrive a planet needs a stable climate, liquid water, and a protective atmosphere. Maybe these conditions are the exception rather than the rule in the universe posing a significant barrier to life. Then comes biological evolution. The leap from simple, single-celled organisms to complex multicellular life forms is no small feat. It's possible that this transition is a major filter that few life forms can cross. Intelligence is another potential filter. Developing self-awareness and problem-solving abilities might be a rare evolutionary step that not all life forms can achieve. Technological challenges present another possible filter. Overcoming resource limitations, environmental threats and the danger of self-destruction is a daunting task for any civilization. Finally, we have interstellar challenges. The leap to interstellar travel is a massive technological and physiological hurdle. 
Perhaps this is the filter that keeps civilizations confined to their home planets. Any of these could be the great filter, the barrier that stops civilizations from reaching out. So where does this leave us humanity in the cosmic scheme of things? We're on an extraordinary journey, aren't we? A journey through time, space, and evolutionary stages, all in our quest to understand our place in the universe. And the great filter, this hypothetical barrier in our path, is a daunting yet fascinating concept to grapple with. Let's consider the potential solutions to the great filter. First, there's optimism. Maybe we've already passed the filter, perhaps the leap from non-life to life was the great hurdle, and we're one of the lucky few who made the jump. Then there's pessimism. Maybe the filter lies ahead, perhaps it's our own technological advancement that will lead to self-destruction. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Or how about transcendence? Perhaps advanced civilizations evolve beyond our comprehension, into forms of existence we can't even begin to imagine. And finally, the simulation hypothesis. What if all this, our universe, our existence, is just a simulation? A cosmic game of sorts. It's a mind-bending concept, but one that's been seriously considered by some of our greatest minds. Whichever the case may be, contemplating the great filter is a humbling exercise. It makes us question our place in the cosmos and our journey as a species. The great filter wherever it lies, reminds us of our responsibility in ensuring our survival and progress the universe awaits.